Let's go get it. I think that might be it. Uh, that was fast. I, I lost ridge. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> oh, no, it's still going. There's the brake. Oh, nope. perception quite a while back. Okay. Maybe just the body oh. popped up. But here we are. Come on, baby. Stop. Read. Yeah! Oh, dude! Yeah! yeah! We did it! Finally! 103 miles an hour. Oh, just that plastic arm broke. <laughs> nice. Sweet! <laughs> 103 mile per hour two wheel drive rustler. Let's take a look under the hood. As you can see, it's had a rough life. Uh, this thing has had a really high tendency to do backflips, even with weight on the front. So the body and some other components have uh, taken several uh, several rides down the pavement. It's a Rustler two-wheel drive VXL. VXL gives you adjustable links and the blue servo. Uh, and it's just a little nicer car to start with. Uh, we got ourselves some uh, quarter-inch spacers in the shocks in the front. Internal with the fuel line mod. Uh, we got a big heavy metal uh, steel weight on the front up with the wheelies it's got tracks 17 millimeter hex conversion hex uh, conversion hot racing aluminum transmission with uh, mpi cvd heavy duty drive shafts the stock shafts pretty much instantly uh, vaporize when you go to 6s uh, it's the hoons the beats hoons tires Front and back, uh, we got the Castle Mamba Monster X ESC, which is a 6S ESC, and a 15-15-2200 kV censored motor. And uh, as you can see, even the motor is taking some road rash on, so been a rough run. Uh, we're running dual Z. 80 amp batteries with a Y connector, so 6S total. Uh, as far as gearing goes, 2636. Again, that got us 103 miles an hour. Certainly more power in the motor, so with some aerodynamic mods, thinking we'll be able to uh, squeeze quite a quite a few more miles per hour out of this thing next year. Um, as far as any other parts go, it's currently running on a stock. TQI radio, which has been a nightmare. As you saw in the video, uh, I got out of range and lost all control at about 100 miles an hour and it uh, it found the curb pretty quick. So I uh, definitely need to upgrade radios for next year. Um, a few other small things other than the homemade bumper. I did make a rear skid plate. I eventually extended it to cover the motor as well. The reason the stock, uh, stock one doesn't fit is with this uh, Big motor on the back there's no room for it to bolt on i think that's it hopefully we'll see you guys in 2024 with uh some more speed runs and uh get this thing up into uh the upper 100 teens or even 20s so have a good one